there's been a fair amount of prolification of this in any case. A fair amount of Indian films have been shot there. Can of condensed milk. Stick the dummy in the condensed milk and stick it in my mouth to keep me quiet. It is heading to be one of the three great economic giants. But within 20 years, it won't be a G8, it will be a G3. It will be China and America and India. Between them, responsible for over half the economic capacity on the face of the planet. And for smaller nations and cities, a, we can either grow with those great new emerging economies in this Asian century, or try and erect walls. I see no point in erecting walls. I would rather be part of India's growth and see massive exchanges, foreign investment going both ways, tourists going both ways, culture going both ways. In my city, we have the largest Indian community anywhere on the face of this planet outside of this subcontinent. We've had a fantastic time so far in uh, Mumbai, um, part of a developing partnership. Films being viewed in London, India, India. Uh, did that with any, uh, any great promotion, huge um, that we have one of the great, great filmmakers of Indian cinema, a producer, one of the... I also see the fact that, that India and Great Britain have had a historic relationship, one of bonding, one of great friendship, and I think that this is yet another occasion where these bridges between Great Britain and India are going to be strengthened. building a modern media, multimedia complex that every night will beam to four or five billion people around the world. It'll be state of the art. And it's a permanent complex. You're not going to demolish it. It's not a temporary building. It will be just about the most amazing potential for TV and film production. We want to talk with um, producers here in Bollywood about, will they have a use for this? Do they want to be involved? Would one of them like to buy it? I don't worry. If we could sell you our steel industry, we'll have no problem selling you our, our TV complex.